Hi, I'm Nathan Zampronio, one of your elected councillors on Hawkesbury City Council. When I and my Liberal colleagues were elected to represent you three years ago on Hawkesbury Council, we faced the challenge of a council struggling financially to deliver on the community's expectations for service delivery. In this financial year, our council has an annual budget of over $99 million, and over 61% of that revenue comes directly from rates and charges. We spend over a third of that money on maintaining our roads and drainage. At 2,800 square kilometres, we are the largest local government area in the Sydney Basin. We maintain more roads than any other Sydney council. And no other council has to deal with unique challenges like the five different rivers that lay within our area or the fact that 70% of our area is covered by national parks. You deserve to know about the different approach the Liberal Party takes compared to the non-Liberal bloc that has controlled Hawkesbury Council for the last three years. We opposed their change to the rating formula that disadvantages many property owners and makes them pay a disproportionate share of the rating burden when they abolished the rural residential rating category and turned up the knob on that part of the formula that calculates your rates based on land value. Knowing full well that land value is often a poor proxy for either your access to services or your ability to pay. And these changes didn't raise Council a single extra cent in rate revenue. It simply shifted the burden so it sat more heavily on certain residents. But we Liberals also opposed Council's application for a special rate variation that will jack up the overall rate burden on you by over 31% over three years. Collectively, these changes have doubled the rates of some households, and we don't think that that's fair. Frankly, we Liberals would prefer to see Council making better use of the money that it already raises, rather than lifting taxes in this way. This is the contrast that we draw between the Liberals and the Labor Party, the Greens and the left-leaning pretend dependents that are in charge of Council right now. The next local government elections are due in September 2020.